All right, so this is just going to be a quick look inside this CyberPower PC uh, C-Series laptop or notebook PC. All right, so we're going to be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, and we're just going to be removing all the screws from the bottom. Right, they can be different size, shape, and length, so it's always a good idea to keep the screws in order by putting them flat side down. Oh, the screw's kind of staying in there. I might have to use a magnet or something to get it out. Or if it doesn't come out, I don't know, we'll have to kind of get it out later. Let's see, is it coming out? Oh, there we go. Okay, anyways, I put them flat side down like that. On my desk in the pattern, we remove them. So there's four going along here. Then there's two here, then two in the center, and then two further out again. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. If these videos help you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a magnet and pop this one out because it's kind of stuck as well. Yeah, I don't know why this these corner screws are a little bit more stuck. You can actually... Um, pull them out later when we go to kind of lift the cover up. See that one's kind of stuck, so we're gonna leave that there. Let's go ahead and get this out. The only thing when you do it that way, you wanna be careful. So when you're lifting the cover out that they don't go flying everywhere, okay? So let's go ahead and do that and do this. Then we got two more here. And then to pop the cover off, we're going to use a suction cup. Um, it'll make it a little bit easier. You don't technically have to use a suction cup. Um, but yeah, anyways, the clips kind of grip out sideways into here. If you can, you can kind of get underneath here. As you can see, I can do that with my fingernails and pull that up. Um, but again, if you can't do that, then you can use, I'm going to get this screw out. You can use a suction cup. So you can use a suction cup here and then you can use that to kind of pull it up. Um, the bottom clips here are a little bit uh, more difficult to get out, but once you get that up, you kind of just wiggle it, okay, and pull it. Or what you can do, I like to just use my fingernail, you can use a flat pry tool, and then just go in there to pull the clips away, just like that. There we go, and that's it. So there's a little thermal pad here, and that's for the SSD. Um, there's actually a second slot for the M.2 SSD. Let me zoom in here. I'm assuming they both support M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs. Just like every SSD, M.2 SSD, there's one screw. It pops up slightly at an angle and then you can pull it out. It'll come out basically like the RAM. I'm gonna leave that there because we don't need to mess with that. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of quickly go over what's inside. I'm not gonna really take it all apart, all right? There's the battery here. If you want to remove that, I just use my fingernails at the raised bit, and then you can kind of wiggle this and pull it back just like that, but I'm going to leave that in. Okay, and it's pretty simple to remove. Two screws here and two screws here. Sorry, hopefully you could see that. There are four screws. And the battery model number is right there. Very easy to see. GKIDT-00-13-3S2P-0. dash 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 three S two P dash zero. Okay. It's a long model number. You do want to open up your battery and double check that it's the same thing. Okay. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of, again, quickly go over. So we have the wireless card here. If you're not how to sure how to remove these kinds of things, again, you can watch my other videos on a bunch of laptops. I show how to do this antennas. You want to pull up from the tail, not from up here. You don't want to pry out there. All right, we got this connector here for the speaker. Same thing with the wings. You kind of just wiggle it and pull it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure this brownish colored cable is for the keyboard backlight. Um, oh yeah, they actually label it here. CNLB1. Uh, okay, I don't know what that represents. Never mind. So I don't know. Um, I don't know why they put RTC here, but this is the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery if you wanted to disconnect it, but the battery does seem to be underneath the motherboard. Okay, there's a cable here also going underneath the motherboard for the two USB 3 ports and the SD card slot there. Excuse me. One fan connector here, one fan connector there, right? Again, you got another connector here for the other USB 3 port and the two 
audio jacks, headphone, and microphone. Okay, LCD, LVDS connector here. If you are gonna mess with this cable, make sure that you disconnect the battery, open up the laptop, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds before you go ahead and mess with that. Okay, um, what else here? I'm assuming this bigger cable is for the keyboard, but because I'm not taking out the battery and everything to check, I'm not sure. And if you're wondering, yes, both speakers do connect to that one cable here. You can actually see the little cables going there. Okay, I'm going to actually show you the RAM real quick, or just one of them. There's two slots. They're just underneath these plastic things. Pull these two tabs to the side. The RAM will pop up. After that, you can go ahead and pull it out. And this is, assuming they labeled it, 8 gigs PC4 2666V, very common uh, DDR4 RAM. So if you want to upgrade, you can put any PC4 2666V RAM that you want. You can get two 16 gig sticks if you want to upgrade it. I think they might have 32 gigs as well. So if you want 64 gigs, you can probably even do that. But uh, for most people, um, 16 gigs is already plenty. All right, we're gonna put this back in. It goes in at an angle. Then you kind of, I like to wiggle it as I'm kind of pulling it into place and then click it down. All right, there's like all these crumbs on it. So let me actually clean that a little bit. Okay, same thing with this side. Yeah, there's like, I don't know why all this stuff is stuck under it or how it even gets in there. All right, but clean that off. All right. And that concludes the quick look inside. Actually, there's something else here. What is this little jumper? Normal and lockdown. So there's like a lockdown mode or something. This jumper here, you can move it from left to right. So apparently it's on two and three, which is lockdown. So I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, I don't want to mess around with that. Anyways, uh, we're just going to put this thing back together. If you're wondering, CPU and GPU are soldered to the motherboard. This is the CPU under here and GPU is under here. All right. But to, to kind of even look at it or redo the thermal paste, you have to take the entire fan assembly, heat sink, everything out. And yeah, I'm not going to mess with that stuff because I don't want to have to redo all their thermal paste for them. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, just get the bottom piece back in first. Again, we're doing this at an angle. Make sure to clip all of that back in. Okay. Once you get all of that clipped in, you want to go up to the top here. This one is a little bit tricky. You kind of have to pull it outwards to make sure that this um, seats in properly. So if you see, if I just push on it, it doesn't go in right. So you have to kind of make sure it goes in um, inside of the edge groove. So I kind of have to pull it inwards a little bit. Okay, and same thing up here. You kind of have to pull it down a little bit, the cover. And if you can't do that, you might have to lift it a bit in the middle here. So that way when you flex it, it pulls it in like that. Okay, and that's how you kind of get that into place. Just like this. And also it helps to kind of put a corner screw in first here. So hold that down into place and then put that screw in while you have it in properly. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Um, again, this does have two M.2 slots. I believe they're both PCIe NVMe. I could be wrong, but most likely they are. Um, and yeah, again, other than that, um, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. I think I already said that. It helps you save a bunch of money. Again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. We're just going to get all these screws back in. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Welcome to stay. I'm just going to get all these back in and we should be good to go. All right, pretty simple, straightforward design. And it looks like you can actually redo the thermal paste and everything without having to take the whole motherboard out. So that's nice. All right, and also not too many screws here. Okay, 
everything looks good. Last two screws and we're good to go. Just one. I don't know if I got a good uh, thumbnail uh, for this because I didn't take a picture before or make sure to center it before taking a picture or yeah but anyways that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one all right let's drop this spike